Today's lesson is about addition and a subtraction of a fraction.、Uh, I will teach you addition and subtraction fraction by formula. So we have a over b plus c over d equals a d plus b c over b times d. So let's look at this formula and、uh, try to get some、um, trend. I have b times d. Over here, which means your denominator multiply. Then how you get the a d plus b c, and then you could see that is,、um, you know, is a times d like cross multiply, b times c cross multiply. So I put at the top. Then look at this is subtraction. Same thing. Denominator you have to multiply. See your denominator multiply, get b times d, and the top your numerator, and we do like cross multiply again, a times d, then subtract b times c, so I put as the denominator. That's the pattern. So try to memorize, and for the facts, negative a over b equals negative a over b, and a equals a over one. We got to use these two facts, and for our operation of addition and subtraction of a fraction now. So let's look at the number one. We have six over seven minus five over two. So just look at the pattern. I will get the denominator first. Denominator is seven times two, so I got fourteen here. Then I cross multiply six times two, I will get the twelve. And seven times five, I got the thirty-five. Thirty-five. This is a subtraction, so I subtract here. I subtract. Then twelve minus thirty-five, I got negative one. Twenty-three. Yeah, that's my answer for this fraction. Let's do number two. So we have, first of all, when you do the addition, and I will find out the denominator. Four times six is twenty-four. Then I do cross multiply. I count this one is negative three now. This one is negative three, so I cross multiply. I got negative eighteen. This cross multiply, this is a positive five. I can count so plus twenty. So I got negative eighteen plus twenty equals two. Then I reduce. I got the one over twelve. Okay, let's go to number three. This is a four. I count is a four over one. So that is I can do the same thing. Denominator one times two is two. Four times two is eight. Then one times this is negative five. You can count this is negative five. So minus five. You will get this one is three. That's how you do that. Yeah, let's go to number four. This is over one. Two you can count as over one. So we think this is a negative three here, and、uh, this one is just count as negative two, negative two. Okay, so we do negative three times one give you negative three here. Then these two cross multiply, I got negative eight. My denominators will be four times one is four. Negative three minus eight is negative eleven.
Yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, let's go to number five. When you deal with like a pie, this is radian, and uh, take a pie outside. We don't deal with pie. Pie just count as a unit. So I would do like this. Six times two is 12. That's my denominator. So over here is a pi times two is two pi. So here I got two pi here. Two pi. And these two cross multiply. I got the negative 30. Negative 30 pi. So 2 pi minus 30 pi got the negative 28 pi. Then I reduce. Divided by 4. I got this is a 3. And top will be negative 7 pi. Yeah, that's your answer. This is the answer now. So go to number 6. Same thing, I plus 2 pi, I can count is 2 pi over 1. This is 2 pi over 1. So I will get like a denominator first. 4 times 1 is 4. Yeah, I do cross multiply. I count this one as negative 3 pi. So I will do negative 3 pi. Multiplication times 1 is negative 3 pi. Then I do cross multiply 4 times 2 pi. Here's a positive 8 pi. So I got the 5 pi. And uh, can you do the number 7 and uh, 8 by yourself? So for practice. 